Okay, we've already learned that the antiderivative or the integral of 1 over x dx is equal to the natural log of the absolute value of x plus c. And the only reason we need the absolute value is because the, uh, the log of a negative number is undefined. Also, the log of 0 is undefined, but we don't have to worry about that because we know there's not going to be a 0 in the denominator. Okay, so this is, this is simple, this is fine. It makes sense, we know the derivative of the natural log is one over x, so this should make sense. Uh, but what happens if we change things even just slightly and we say one over two x dx? Well, now all of a sudden we have to use uh, a u sub and so our substitution is going to be let u equal 2x and then du is just going to equal 2 dx. But we don't have a 2 dx, we just simply have a, a, a dx. So we'll divide by that 2 and we'll get 1 half du is equal to dx. And now we have all of our pieces. Why don't we make that substitution? And we'll have the integral of 1 over u uh, times 1 half du. We'll pull that 1 half out as always. And now this has become a really trivial, simple integral. Uh, the integral of 1 over u du is equal to, well, we leave that 1 half out front, and then that integral is just the natural log of the absolute value of u, of course, plus c. And as always, we started in x's, so why don't we plug back in what is u? u is simply 2x, so this is 1 half the natural log of the absolute value of 2x plus c. Okay, so this is a, a very simple example of using u substitution with the natural log uh, uh, rule for integrals. Uh, we'll see some more examples of this and some more advanced examples. So see you in the next video.